Hi guys, today we're doing a chicken in the sun oven and I spatchcock, spatchcock cut it and you can see how that's done in the spatchcock chicken video. I have seasoned it and season your chicken any way you like and now it's in the pot. take it outside which clouds just showed up and not just the way so here we go let's go outside okay let's see if I can do this one-handed I am going to go put some potatoes and onions and green beans from the garden things like that in the other pan and bring it out here oh. okay all right, well, I need two hands to latch this, but there it is, and the sun oven's already at 200, and the sun's behind a cloud right now, but hopefully it burns off. So yeah, spatchcock chicken in the sun oven. Here are the vegetables I'm doing. I've got carrots, bell pepper, green beans, onion, and potato. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper and then we, ah, my hands are wet, and then we will take this out and put it under the chicken. And I just had a bunch of clouds move in out of nowhere, gotta love Oklahoma, said zero chance of rain but our motto here is if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes, it will change, and yeah, that happens. So, okay, let's go put this outside. So there's our veggies. Just put your chicken right on top. Is that? Uh, hold on. can't see a thing in this sun and if you get one of these ovens you'll have to loosen those screws right there or these will not latch alrighty so we're at about 175 with our temperature and we will check on this in a few hours. Okay, here's the chicken. I only got one hand, so this might be tricky. I took the lid off because it was squishing the top. But I thought I was going to have to run it under the broiler, but I don't think I will. So I'm going to carry this in the house. Okay, let's see how our veggies look. Oh. Okay, just a minute. Okay, there's the veggies. And they are smoking hot. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Parts of this chicken are very pale. Okay, well, gonna make a plate 
of our sun oven food. Oh, I thought something was wrong with those potatoes. I think that's a black pepper. Made them look funny. Okay, well I will let you know how it tastes. Look at all that juice. I just had to show you guys. That is a lot of juice. And I used kitchen scissors. These scissors right here. And they cut right through that bone at the top. So I just wanted you to see that. I'm making a plate. And I'm going to feed the hubby. I will see you all next time. So I figured I should answer a few questions. <laughs> I just kind of took that out and fed the hubby. This was out there for over six hours. And I cut the back of that chicken out because I thought it would cook better, more evenly, and it did. It's very tender, very juicy. I should have put some kind of juice in with the veggies. I mean, they were okay. They were like steamed. But some kind of broth or something, they would have been better. Or butter. We did butter them after. So yeah, I'll do that next time. And I took the lid off because you know how when meat starts to puff up when it's cooking. And that seemed to color the top of the chicken. And the sun oven got up to 300 degrees, according to the little thermometer that's dangling down out there. So, and I did have to go out once in a while and turn the sun oven as the sun moved. So, yeah, I can't think of anything else. But I was thinking, I did not say how long I did that or anything. So that's how long it did. I'm going to strain and save that broth from that chicken. It made a ton of juice for soup or canning or whatever else. I'll just pop in the freezer. So, yeah, if you can think of any other questions, let me know down below. And we will be doing a lot more of these sun oven meals. So... If you'd like to see that, let me know that too. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye.